Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Today I have a wear test for you and how that works is I'm trying out a new foundation that I'm going to wear for a full 12 hours today and I'm going to show you how it holds up through the day. Now this is what it looks like now. I just put it on about 10 minutes ago. So let's say it is half past nine now and I'm going to wear it until half past nine this evening. Now before we get to into it, the foundation I'm wearing today is the new LA Girl Liquid Foundation and I did record how I applied it in a different video I'll link down below for you but this is pretty much how it went. The foundation I'm excited to try out today is this new LA Girl one. It's the LA Girl Pro Matte HD High Definition Long Wear Matte Foundation in the color natural which is quite the mouthful. I apply like two to three pumps and I take the side of my beauty blender, touch it to this and then I start working it onto my face. But then this is what it looks like just after applying it and let's hope it holds out for a full 12 hours. So it seemed to have survived the first hour quite fine and still feels quite comfortable. However, now I'm gonna be in the lab for three hours with glasses on. So I'm excited to see if it's gonna hold up against spider bites or not. But I do like the color match. I feel this is as close as I've gotten it up to date. I'm very happy with that. in a lab ever looked this good let's check for spider bites yeah there they are see the foundation comes off entirely under your goggles so that's unfortunate let's see if it's on my glass yep there's so much makeup on my glasses right there but that's a fact of life i wasn't expecting it to withstand that but other than that everything still seems fine I don't look shiny, I don't feel uncomfortable, it feels like my skin, which I'm really enjoying. So I'm gonna say, what are we in four hours in at this point? Can't confirm that it's going pretty well. So another hour has passed and I hiked home in the sun in the middle of the day, so I am a little shiny. But the makeup did hold up with the sweat and it's not off my nose to bat or anything. So I'm actually surprised it's still on as good as it is. Because even though it's a little shiny, I don't feel the need to powder it, it's not that shiny. So I'm gonna do some work and check in with you again later. So we're in the car, on the way to the mall to pick up some things. Another hour has passed and it still looks pretty fine. It is coming off my nose a little bit, but not as bad as I'm used to, so I'm okay with this. I still definitely have the spider bites from the glasses I was wearing earlier. But other than that, I'm not any more shiny or anything than I was earlier, so I'm pretty okay with this. So we are about 8 hours in and I'm now going to look at it in a bit more direct lighting. I'm working with what's left of the natural light before the sun sets. And looking at it now, it is starting to get a little powdery and a little dry. Which, I have a dry skin so it's to be expected. But it is starting to show signs of being dry. It's entirely gone here around my nose on those corners there. It is powdery right here. However, the powder is still sticking. The powder hasn't entirely wiped off. It's still there, but like around the edges you can see it's all powdery on my nose as I said and here in the corners of my mouth as well. And I do have a few lines showing around my eyes more than they would have had I not worn makeup. So you can't see I'm wearing makeup and you can see it's getting a bit old, but I don't think it's very obvious and it's extremely comfortable. It doesn't feel like there's anything on my face. It's been eight hours and I don't have the urge to wash it off because I can't feel there's something on my face. So I do like how wearable this feels and I like how good it looks after how long the day it was. And it's been through a bit, I would say. I mean, I walked to campus, which was a little bit of exercise. I walked back in the heat of the day, so I was sweating. I could feel the sweat like on my lip and on my brows. And I mean, I don't have patchiness there, so sweating didn't take it off. It didn't survive the spider bites from the glasses, which, if you didn't know, is what I call these little lines you get here from the part of the glasses that sit here. But what I haven't tried is rubbing over them to kind of erase those lines. And you know what? That actually does erase it. The coverage is less, but now I don't have two lines there anymore, which is good. I'm okay with this part of it. So overall, I'm enjoying this quite a bit over the other foundations I've tried. I think if I wanted to touch it up, I would just add a little bit more setting spray to add a little bit of moisture back into my dry face. And I'm definitely going to apply some lip eyes now because this lip ice is done for and needs to come off. I do feel like the foundation has oxidized the smallest bit, which means the color is a little bit different than when I put it on. I feel it's a little bit more orange or dark color than when I put it on, not in a dramatic amount. I mean, in the camera, it still looks like it matches in my opinion. 
In person it looks like I am like half a shade off of what it should be where initially I was super excited about being the exact right shade. So I guess with time it did darken a little bit even here where I had it on my hand it started going a little bit more orangey. But it's definitely not to the extent that I wouldn't use a foundation that's this color and it's definitely not to the extent that anyone would walk by and notice it. But that's it for now so let's see what's up with the next checkup. Another hour has passed and my only complaint is I'm tired of being aware of the fact that I can't scratch my face but it's okay it's not like it comes off too bad if i were to do that so it's quite nice but yeah since it's been a long day i really want to like rub at my face and all that you can't do that with makeup on so it's been a full 12 hours since i put it on and honestly it doesn't feel any different from the last time i checked on it it's still on everything still looks fine do you disagree no it's very comfortable to wear compared to other ones I've tried before. It's not drying. It definitely feels like skin. It did dry out a little bit as a final thought, but it still keeps its coverage. On the topic of coverage, it's not as full coverage. I can still see my own like beauty spots coming through, but I don't mind that because number one, it's comfortable and number two, it lasts. So that's how this foundation lasts up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again the next time we do this.